Uh, it's definitely an unplayable lie. But as I said, we have not come here just to allow me to indulge myself in my childhood fantasies. We've come in here for much more important reasons. First of all, it's the first time that any American network sports department has ever visited the People's Republic of China. We have come with an American gymnastics team on a twice-delayed visit. It was delayed because of the earthquake and then because of the death of Chairman Mao. But now they're here, and of course, we're here for a friendly competition with a team from China. It's the first time an American sports delegation has been welcomed here since the death of Chairman Mao. We're going to see the competition, and of course, as always, we'll be seeing the place and the people. All of it today on ABC's Wide World of Sports. Eat your heart out, Mark. Capital Arena. As you can see, Mao Tse Tung is dead, but he's still very much a presence here. The reason for all the excitement today, well, the Americans are here. Inside here is some of the crowd that will total 18,000 people by the time they're all in place. This is the first time since the death of Chairman Mao Tse Tung that an American sports delegation has been welcomed to the People's Republic of China. Good afternoon. I'm Jim McKay, and this actually is a journey twice postponed. The American gymnastics team was first supposed to come to China back last summer. However, then the terrible earthquake hit the Peking region, and the trip was postponed. In September, our athletes were actually in the airport in San Francisco when they received word of the death of Chairman Mao, and again, a postponement. Now, however, finally, we are all here, and it should be a most interesting, friendly competition between the two nations, as it is called. Several questions to be answered here. First of all, how well will the Americans be received? Well, from what we've seen around town so far, it would seem very well. Another and much more to the point question is how much better are the Chinese gymnasts than they were when they came to the United States three years ago? Well, we don't really know. This will be our first chance to see them since then. But advanced word is that there may be a little Chinese version of Olga Corbett or Nadia Comaneci in the making. Her name is Liu Ya Chen. How good is she? Well, we will see. As American and Chinese men and women meet in competition in the capital of the People's Republic of China. And this is the Women's Uneven Parallel Bars. The young woman's name, Tang Shao Li. She's a student from Shenxi Province in northwest China, a newcomer to their national program at age 15. This, in fact, is her first international competition of any kind. She's looking pretty good. She had a little stop early in the program there, you might have noticed. That'll cost her something. Good routine, though. You'll notice that all of these Chinese women are young, tiny, very much like the Russians and the Romanians. There. A fine this now. Three hip circle into a back somersault. That'll help her mark. Tang Shao Li. Being congratulated by her teammates here. And she stands by for her mark. Here it comes. 955. Five. That's a very strong mark. Now it'll be the turn of an American. This is Colleen Casey. Remember that name for the Moscow Olympics of 1980 because she is on her way. At the age of 16, Colleen may be the most promising woman on the American team. St. Paul, Minnesota. Looking good. Her legs came apart a bit there, which will cost her something in the point score. Supposed to keep them together. Oh, what a discount! A sensational discount into a front somersault, and that is a blind and a very dangerous dismount, but she really stuck it. I'm sure those congratulations for that. 9-4-5, however. We were not over-generous on that mark. Now here is Yu Hu Hua from Shantung. Middle school or high school student. She also is 15 years old. 1976 Peking champion. This, this routine is of international class, if you're wondering. Not the most difficult, not as difficult as you'd see Nadia Komenich doing. But international class, and, well, she tried to do something even better than Casey on the dismount. That was a cast into a front somersault with a half twist, but as you saw, she didn't land it very well. Being congratulated by the Americans. There really is a very friendly feeling between these two teams that we've seen before the meet and as they've gone around town here. Like 960. All of the judges here are from the, the host country, and 
I don't mean this disparagingly, but they are not very experienced in international competition. Uh, like the team, but like the team, they seem to be learning very fast. This is Leslie Wolfberger, age 17, from Torrance, California. Seven-year veteran gymnast. And this is her favorite event. She's very good at it. a particularly difficult one she has planned. There, you see it. And she didn't land it too well. That was not nearly as difficult a move as those two spectacular ones you saw. However, the rest of the routine was very solid for Leslie Wolfsberger. So it's a mark. 9-5-0 oh, for the American girl. And now we're going to see the little girl we told you about at the beginning. She is not of the class of Corbett yet. Of only a youngster, 14 years old, the same size and weight, however, as Olga and Nadia when we first saw them, 4'11 and 83 pounds. With the 1975 national all-around champion at age 13. 1975 Asian youth all-around second place. Good style, excellent body extension, and a fine dismount. We hit the circle into a back somersault, and you notice she got great height on that move. That's very important to the judges. Again, the congratulations from her visiting opponents from the United States for Yo Ya Chun. There's the mark. 9.75, and that's going to win that event for her. We'll be right back in Peking. Second place to Yu Hu Hua. Third place to Tang Xiaoli. A clean sweep of the first three places for the Chinese. Fourth place to Leslie Wolfsberger. And fifth place to Colleen Casey of the United States. Now take a good look at the extension. How she seems actually to extend her body to appear to be taller than she is. She is from Peking. This is her hometown. She only got into gymnastics when she was 11 years old and two years later had won the national championship. Watch this dismount now. Beautiful and beautifully done the way she stuck it there. Have you ever seen Olga Korbut, the famous Russian gymnast, and Nadia Komenich from Romania? Um, Yes, I read it in newspaper. Yes. Do you pattern your own gymnastics after them? No, I'm the Chinese style. Aha, the Chinese have their own style. Yes. Liu, would you like one day to come to America? Yes, I, yes, I wish if there is a chance. What would you like to see in America? Yes, I like to watch the Olympic sport. Yes, I like to I like to watch the gymnastic performance. And the table tennis. And the table tennis. Yes. Thank you very much. Yes, <laughs> A very appealing young lady. Let, let's flash back now to the men's pommel horse, which was going on while we were watching those uneven bars for women. This is the winner of the event, Sai Hung Jung. He's a veteran on the Chinese team, 27-year-old teacher at the Peking Physical Education Institute. He's their best, but the men have not progressed at the speed that the women have in the Chinese gymnastics movement. You may have noticed on those scissors movements there, he did not get the height of the Japanese or the Russians. But this performance was good enough to win that event for him here in this friendly competition between the United States and the People's Republic of China. Let's take a look now at another form of exercise that takes place regularly here in Peking. Any morning at 6 a.m., you can go out as we did and see people performing exercises of various sorts. In one place, they may be playing basketball or doing normal calisthenics, as we're used to them in the United States, or just jogging around the great public square. But many thousands of them prefer the ancient Chinese exercise form called wushu. It's a very slow, very studied and artistic form of exercise. 
The idea is to try to achieve a concentration and a kind of harmony of mind and body. It is exercise, but it also theoretically prepares the mind and the body for the day that lies ahead. They work a good long work day in China. The early morning people's ballet of Peking. The young learning from the old. This ancient art had uh, fallen in interest a great deal until just a few years ago. And now it's being revived at a tremendous rate throughout the, the People's Republic. afternoon another look at the people of Peking who have gathered 18,000 strong for this gymnastics competition. Here's Kathy Howard of the United States about to mount the balance beam. The beam the most difficult of the women's events and the most dangerous. Remember again it's only four inches wide, 16 feet long, four feet off the floor far enough to really hurt yourself. Kathy's very good at this, the girl from Oklahoma City, an American Olympian, Montreal, you may remember. On the beam, you're expected to come up with the same sort of move, really, that you are on the floor exercises how much more difficult than a four inch wide piece of wood. Crowd silent. <coughs> Appreciative of that one. They haven't seen too much of this international class of gymnastics. These people watching don't know as much about it the crowd in Moscow would or in Bucharest. Through a little laugh. See, that's a very artistic move of the, the kind that is coming in more and more in international gymnastics, particularly through the Russians. But they thought it was uh, uh, intended to amuse them a little bit, so they chuckled. Happy Howard, fine performance. At this now, a front somersault with one and a half twists. Very well done, particularly. Happy Howard. Here's her mark 930. We'll be back. What are you doing? Hey, hot shot. I hear you won't get dressed without your right guard. You know I'm not getting dressed without my right guard. Here's your right guard. Double protection, anti-perspirant. Hey, hey, save me some, will you? We know it's so effective at protecting you from wetness and odor. It also helps protect your clothes from wetness, stains, and odor. Guys, guys, you know I won't get dressed without my right guard. Thank you. Right guard, double protection, spray or roll on. Don't get dressed without it. You're trapped to shave, you're trapped to face. It's a perfect face. Yes, it is. Feels so smooth, twin blade smooth. So perfectly smooth, the best there is. You took your perfect face and gave it a perfect track to shave. You shaved it close and safe. Now you've got that perfect Get the closest thing to a perfect shave. The Gillette Track 2 Shaving System in regular or adjustable cartridges. That perfect Track 2 face. We have a quick golf update. Tom Watson now has a two- Again in Peking, China with ABC's Wide World of Sports. Continuing our coverage of the Women's Balance Beam Competition. U.S. versus People's Republic of China. And this is the local heroine of Peking, Liu Yachun. She has already won the uneven bars competition. Now on the balance beam at age 14. Total routine in this event is supposed to be supple, elegant, bold, and daring. And elegance and daring are a different combination. But look at that aerial. Beautifully performed. Almost certainly you're looking at a young woman who's going to be one of the great international stars. Now, the People's Republic is not as yet a member of the International Gymnastics Federation, and of course they're not in the Olympic movement in the moment. 
Look at this, look. Anybody in the world, well, she falls off, but anybody in the world would be proud to do that as well as she did it. Doing not one tumbling movement, but a series of them down that 16-foot bar. And although falling off the bar there will automatically cost her a half a point in her mark, that is a series of moves to remember. Very few people in the world could do it as well as she did it. Yo Ya Shun. Difficult name to remember, but we're going to have to try. Certainly has the elegance, doesn't she? We saw she had the daring. And look at this talent on that dismount. <laughs> so the rest of the routine looks very good, but the fall off the bar is going to cost her. And again, the friendship between the two teams. We said before, it seems very genuine, too. 9.05, and as you see, without the fall off the bar, it would have been a 9.55. In slow motion, let's take a look again at that daring series of tumbling down the bar. Over, again, landing it almost, but then falling off. I'm sure she hits that most of the time in practice with another year or two of international competition. We'll do it all the time. Now, the best performer on the balance beam, normally, for the United States is Kim Chase here. Kim is quite a story. She's 20 years old. She was a fine international gymnast, then retired from the sport to have a baby. She now has a three-year-old son named Christopher. She made a comeback, made the Olympic team for Montreal, and had the best marks of any American woman there. This is her favorite event and her best event. So far, Kim is not doing some of the more daring moves she does at times, perhaps, Having seen the favorite Chinese girl lose that half point on her mark, she might be cooling it a bit, being a bit more conservative, let's say, in her approach. She knows the marks of those who have gone before. And they figure that a good, solid, almost perfectly done performance is preferable than taking a chance and perhaps falling off and losing that half point. doing everything very well. But still not the daring moves. <laughs> Beautifully done. Fine performance, solid performance by Kim Chase of Lake Park, Florida. And we'll stand by for her mark. And uh, here it comes, 9.35. That's going to win the competition for Kim Chase of the United States. The final standings, Chase the winner, and then a tie for second between Kathy Howard and Leslie Wolfsberger. A clean sweep for the United States after the Chinese had swept the uneven bar. Well, that young chap has taken his break, gotten some soda pop in his return. That's what we're going to do now before continuing this competition. Return to the Orient with much more, including a tour of Peking, the old and the new, and the People's Republic of China. In four exercises right now, we're watching Diane Dunbar, a 17-year-old from Pleasanton, California. This is the only gymnastics event that's performed to music, and the music is an important part. It's not just a background. Music and movements are supposed to go together, very much as in the sport of figure skating. 17, Diane is a real veteran. She's traveled around Europe, Japan, South Africa, Canada, and Mexico. Her best event is the uneven parallel bars, but she's quite good in this, too. <laughs> and the people of China like that cute little move on the end of Diane. You heard them chuckle and now applaud her. Diane Dunbar. Wait for her mark now. The coach liked it, but let's see. The judges are looking for many things here. They're looking for dance movements, turns, leaps, jumps, balancing and tumbling movements, both power tumbling and flexibility tumbling. This girl is known as a very good power tumbler.
beautiful moon. Near the end, they're particularly looking for good, strong tumbling and acrobatics. <laughs> Yufu Hua. In a minute, we're going to take a tour of the city of... ...of phases to get them into the country. Jim, of course, doing his usual superb job. Let's join him. Well, there's a lot more to come here in the Capitol Stadium in Peking, China. However, as you know by now, everywhere we go in the wide world of sports, we try to make a little contact with the place we visit and with the people who live there. Let's take a look at Peking in China. We're at the very nerve center of the People's Republic of China right now. This is the Tiananmen, or Gate of Heavenly Peace Square. It's much larger than Red Square in Moscow. It scores high in international competition. The opening move was a back somersault with a double pull twist. Look at these again, the height. See that? It's an interesting place I've ever been, and I think that I could never learn what I've learned here in history class. And I think you just have to be there to be able to understand what it's like. All the people are very friendly, and I've enjoyed my visit. It's a very beautiful place. I think it's fantastic. The country is so old compared to the U.S. It's just 200 years old. It's fantastic. Well, it's been really interesting, and I think what shocked me the most was the amount of bikes in the streets. The thing that impressed me the most was the openness and the friendliness of the Chinese gymnasts during the gymnastics meet. They're so friendly, and they want you to do well, and in turn, you you forget about trying to compete against them and more or less competing with them. It has been a trip not easily forgotten for the American gymnasts and for wide world of sports. We have not found Far Eastern stereotypes here, but a crowded nation of individual human